everyone. Welcome back to the House of Blossom Fluff. My name is Carrie. Thank you guys for joining me. Today is Tuesday, November 30th, and I am here with my monthly stitching update. So I am getting in by the skin of my teeth um, at the end of November. <laughs> so I hit my goal of at least updating once a month. So how's everyone doing? I hope you guys have had a wonderful November. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, things here have been are normal. <laughs> I get like everyone, every family has their own definition of normal. And so things have been the uh, house of less and fluff normal. So that's good. Uh, everyone is, is doing good. Um, we had a really nice Thanksgiving. My husband was on vacation, so he was home, which was great. Um, he is the cook in the family, not me. Uh, so with him home, we had the traditional turkey and all the fixings and it was really, it was really nice. So, um, yeah, we just had, we had a good week of just kind of relaxing and we got the Christmas stuff put out. So that was nice. Uh, yeah, other than that, um, let's see, usually everyone asks about the kittens. That's usually everyone asks me how they're doing. Uh, they're doing good. They're getting big. I think they're right around four months, a little over four months, like just getting close to that five months. Um, they are losing their baby teeth and getting their adult teeth in and uh, they so they got their Christmas present early because of Black Friday which we did not actually go out on Black Friday like the actual day like we just they like, hunkered down that whole weekend um, but thankfully the Black Friday sales like started Monday and so we did hit up our local pet store which we have a pet supply plus and they always put their cat trees on sale for Black Friday, which is awesome. So we went and got a little cat tree for the cats. Um, so it's in our dining room, um, which one wall of our dining room is all windows. And so it's in front of the windows and so they can look out and see and they love it. Um, I know I've, I've posted pictures to Instagram and everything. So, but yeah, so they're happy. They've got their present. They're very happy kittens. <laughs> okay, so let's dive into why you guys are here, which is to see the stitching. And I actually don't have as much as I've had in the past. I definitely don't have as much as I had in my last video. Like I have one small little fully finished item. That's it. <laughs> um, this last month has been focused on some model stitching. Um, so I did a few new designs for my Etsy shop. And so I had wanted to get the models done. And I kind of wanted to get them done before, definitely before December and in time for Black Friday kind of thing. So that's really where, where I was focused, but I've got some other stuff to share, other stitching that I've done, and of course, um, show you guys the models and stuff too. So let's dive into my new starts, and I don't have very many. Uh, so this one was actually the first piece that I started for the month of o October. I'm still in October um, for the month of November because I wanted to, I, I wanted to participate in the hashtag Black Sampler November. And I had a piece in mind that I wanted to, okay, technically it's not a new start, it's a restart, um, but I count it as a new start um, because I just wasn't happy with the fabric that I had picked. Um, so this is the piece, and this is one that my husband picked out, and it's, it's really cool, I like it. So I'm not sure if this is exactly a sampler. I'm counting it as a sampler because it's got words and numbers on it, so I'm going with, it's a sampler. And the reason I wanted to restart it is I believe this is called for, yeah, it was called for to be stitched on a 28 count weeks and it was stitched one over one. So I started mine on a 28 count Lugana. Um, I believe it was picture this plus Ren. And honestly, I can't, I just can't do one over one anymore. My eyes are like, no. Um, so I wanted to restart it. And I restarted it on a Stitch Me. And hold on. I forgot to leave out the tag of what the fabric is. But it's right here. So this is called Scroll. And it was the July fabric of the month. And I am using the called for black. This is, I believe it's General Arts. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's coal. Is it? No, I am using General Arts Carriage Black, so maybe I didn't use the called for. Apparently I didn't. The called for is Weeks Coal, but I'm using General Arts Carriage Black. I think my husband picked it up because he liked that one. So that is my restart. 
I didn't have very much done on the original one, so I'm not, I didn't lose much. I think it's just going to be cute. It's going to be obviously a little bit bigger because one over one and 28 counts really small. And so, I mean, 40 count, it's going to be a little bit bigger, but it shouldn't make like a huge difference. Um, so that one should come out really nice. Okay. The next one is, hold on, I have notes. Um, and I lost my notes. My notes got buried. Okay. So the next uh, new start was, is part of a series that I'm doing. Um, and I have a lot of them finished, and so you'll get to see that in, in a few minutes. But this is one I started last night or the night before. Um, and this is from Melissa at Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting. Um, she has tons of really cute patterns, and they're all free, which is awesome. And so this is part of her Barnyard Christmas series. And this one is Skiing on the Farm. And so I'll insert the model picture here since I don't have it. <laughs> And then that's my start on it. So, and this is being stitched on a 28 count Jobelin that I coffee dyed. So I think it was just a white or an ivory Jobelin that I got from 123 Stitch. And I'm not using any of the call for colors. Um, I'll talk more about uh, how I've been doing the colors and stuff when I show you guys the finished ones. But I'm staying pretty close to like what the called for colors are. I'm just choosing some different different glosses, different brands and things to try out. So this is actually done. The, the border, sorry, all of a sudden words are like hard. Um, the border and the snowflakes, that is an anchor gloss. And then this is a DMC. This is the called for, um, 318, the gray. So, but yeah, so far I'm liking, I love this series. They usually stitch up really fast. This one was taking me a little bit longer because I think I, I kind of like got burned out a little bit because I've done a lot of little ornaments. Okay, so that is literally all my new starts. And um, uh, the whips, well, I have another new, hold on, let me see. Those are my new starts that I'm still like working on. And then I have another new start that's already finished. And the only whip that I worked on is also finished. So now we're gonna get into finishes. So I want to start first with the models that I did. So these are all patterns that I designed. They are all available currently in my Etsy shop as PDFs. So this is the snow couple. Aren't they cute? This is like one of my favorites because you guys know I love snowmen so much. And I, just, I think they turned out really, really cute. And this is a very dark brown, almost a chocolate, 18 count Ada, and I dyed this one myself and it, I stitched them all using DMC. So super cute, I love that. Okay, and then this one is the Christmas couple. So it's kinda, it's not necessarily Mr. and Mrs. Claus, it's kind of a, a spin on them. I think it came out really cute. And this one is cool because it comes with actually two different tops. So it's the same pattern from here down, but then the top, you can do the stars, or I also gave you a pattern that you can do snowflakes instead. But I think it came out really, really cute. I love the colors in this one. I love how they, she's a little bit brighter in color than he is. It just, I just think it's really cute. And this is a 18 count Ada in a kind of a grayish blue. And again, this is one that I dyed myself. And again, all DMC. I tried everything in DMC. Okay, and then this one, this is like the whole reason I wanted to start designing my own patterns a couple years ago. It just took me a while to get this one <laughs> designed and stitched. This is Snowman Clothesline, which is like my absolute, I love all of the different clothesline series and I really, really wanted a snowman one. And so I hadn't found one and so I went ahead and just charted this. <laughs> and he's got his little carrot out drying and his hat and his scarf and it's just so cute. Uh, and this one, the in the actual pattern these are charted as stitches i just wanted to add some buttons because i like buttons um, you could certainly add beads instead and this is an 18 count ada that i coffee dyed and again all dmc looks super cute and this one stitches up really quick i stitched this i think in two days so stitched up really quick and the last one is part of the patch series and this is the reindeer patch and this is stitched on a 36 count, I believe this is a color, oh yeah, 
36 count color and cotton linen. This was um, a limited edition. I think I got this at StitchCon, but isn't it? It just turned out so cute. I love the little reindeer and Mrs. Claus. I love it. So I love that. I have to get them fully finished now. Not really sure. I have a couple ideas. I just have to actually do it. I haven't really been in the fully finishing mood. I think after doing the 13 that I had in my last video, like, I don't, I don't want to do any more. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this next one was a whip, and I think I had started it in my last video. So this is uh, Squirrel's Delight. It is from the 2018 fall issue of Punch Home Primitive Stitcher magazine, and it is um, designed by Lucy Beam. And there it is, all done. So cute. It turned out so cute. I love it. Now I just have to fully finish it. Because I kind of want to turn it into an acorn. And that's going to take some thought, I think, to sew that. And I did not use any of the call cores. I changed everything. But I stayed, again, for this one I stayed close to what the call cores were. I just picked things, um, I didn't have the call cores, so I picked things that were very similar in shade. And then this is a... This is a Bestitch Me. Uh, let me see. I think I have the bag over here. See, I was thought I was being smart by pulling stuff out. And I think this is called Bedrock, maybe? That sounds about right. Maybe it's Bedrock. But it's really cute. So I'm glad to have that one done. Now I just have to fully finish it for next fall, which I am going to need a bigger tote for all my fall stuff. <laughs> you should see my tote when I took all the fall stuff down and shoved it in the tote. Oh, the, the, yeah, the lid barely fit. So I'm going to have to get a bigger tote, especially if I'm going to add anything else. Okay, so this was a new start that I started on the 27th, um, so this last weekend. And this was a stitch along that I did with Heather. I think it's my homeboy. We had been talking about something else. Um, I had messaged her on Instagram about something and she came back with this pattern. I know you're gonna start this pattern and when you do, let me know because I wanna stitch it with you. So I was like, awesome. And so I decided, I was like, oh, let's stitch it, you know, Thanksgiving weekend if you're not busy, you know, cause I know some people travel and stuff. She's like, no, that sounds great. So this is Miss Millie Snow. It is from the most recent, so the 2021 winter Christmas issue of Punch Home Primitive Stitcher Magazine. It is designed by Teresa Miller and I finished it. This one took me two days. Like this went really, really quick. And I had two days of like a lot of stitching, but isn't she adorable? Oh my God. I love her so, so much. Yes. And this is another Be Stitch Me fabric. And of course, oh, this one is the Bedrock. I'm sorry. So this is not Bedrock. I, I'm not sure what color this is. This is Bedrock. It's just, it's so cute. I mean, it's a, it's a snow person and a sheep. Like you can't get any better than that, right? It's awesome. So I did change all the colors. Oh, except for, except for the gray. So the whole thing was charted in mostly Weeks and One Gentle Arts. And I had the Weeks Pelican Gray, which is the, the gray kind of highlight in her dress and in the uh, sheep right there. Everything else I picked, I stayed pretty close except for the pot here. I changed that to Weeks Gold because the color I had picked as this kind of, this brown color here was supposed to be what the whole vase was. That brown color to me had some green in it, and so I thought it was gonna match in too much with my foliage or my, my leaves here, so I changed it to a gold vase. And I actually really like it. I think it came out really cute. And then it was so funny because I was trying to put the bow on here, and I'm looking at the bow on the picture, and I'm like, oh my God, how did they get that bow to look so good? You know, like my bow is gonna have to be so, so tiny, forgetting that I stitched it on 40 count. <laughs> And the called for was 36 count and I stitched it on 40. So I had to make my bow really tiny, but, and I even did her little French knot eyes and they turned out, they turned out pretty good. I left them. So they turned out good enough, <laughs> but she's really cute. So I think I'm going to turn her into a little pillow and put her behind me somewhere. 
Okay, so like I said, that was a new start from this weekend. This was a whip. <laughs> so yeah, I actually, I, I got a fair amount of finishes. Now I just have to do something with them. Okay, so now on to the last section or last part of my finishes. And this is all of the Barnyard series that I've worked on. Again, all of these are from Melissa at Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting. She, it's a blog. And like I said, these are all free patterns. She's amazing. And there's so many cute designs. And this is the Barnyard Christmas series that I'm working on. Um, and these are all on 28 count fabrics. I, most of them. I shouldn't say they're not all actually now that I come to think of it. Quite a few of them are on 28 count. I'll, and I'll hopefully I can tell you guys the name of the fabric. I'm going to try. Okay. So this one is special delivery. I mean, you guys knew I was going to have to stitch that one first, right? Cause I mean, it's a sheep. And so this was the first one I stitched. And so this is stitched in all of the called for DMC. And this is stitched on 28 count Ren by Picture This Plus. This is a Lugana. And I love it. It's so cute. So I wanted to stitch at least one in all of the called for colors. And then I figured I could kind of branch out from there. I, I mean, I love the called for colors. The called for colors are beautiful. It's just, I, you know, I like to play around with my floss and pick different brands and stuff like that. And so I wanted to stitch one, like I said, in all the called for And then I could kind of um, go from there and do different things. So that's the first one. Like I said, that is special delivery. And then this one is Christmas stocking. And this is a, like the newest one that she has posted um, in this series. And isn't that cute? I love it. Uh, and this one, I think, okay. So yeah, this one, the border is done with a Cosmo thread. And then this is a variegated. This is a one of the um, DMC variations. Let me see if by any chance I have some. Of, I was really good about labeling some of the DMC variations. And then, yeah, I kind of sucked at labeling other ones, which is not a good thing because now I can't go back and buy more because I don't know. Oh, well, but I just I wanted it to be a little bit variegated and I love it. So that is so cute. OK, so this one is on a 32 count. Isn't that adorable? Look at the kitty. Uh, this is called The Stockings Were Hung. This is stitched on 32 count cobblestone, dark cobblestone, which is a Lugana. And I got this from 123 Stitch. And I really like this fabric. It's really nice to work on. And it's a really good color. That white pops so much. Um, so again, this one is stitched with some Cosmo threads. The border is Cosmo. In fact, I think most of the threads in here are Cosmo threads. Uh, I kind of wanted to stitch one with just Cosmo threads. The only one that isn't is the mouse down here. That is the 318 DMC. And then in the pattern, all three of the stockings are the same color red. And so I changed mine. So this one's kind of a brighter Christmas red. That one's a little bit darker, kind of maroonish. And then I did the green because I just like that. Oh, and then this is also the pink is the called for DMC as well. I have a pink Cosmo and it just didn't, it was like really super bright and I just didn't like it. So I went with the DMC. It's so cute. I love it. Okay. And then this one. So this is, um, hold on. This is Santa's ride. That's what this one is called. And this is stitched on what I thought was a 32 count fabric. It is not. Cause you can tell. So that's 32 count. Hold on, let me see if I can get these close. And there's this one. So it turns out this is a 36 count. <laughs> and so it was put in my, it was put in the wrong, I have my fabric. Um, so Amy from Amy Loves Toads had showed how she stored her fabric and she, she stored it in those little plastic bags that you can get from Amazon that a lot of people use them as project bags. And I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. And so I have, I have them by count. Um, and so this one got put in the wrong bag. <laughs> this is not a 32 count, it's a 36, but that's okay. So I think he turned out really, really cute. Um, I, it's a mystery linen. I don't know. 
I, I don't, other than it being a 36 count, which I just discovered after stitching this, I don't know anything else. Um, and this one was stitched, this one is stitched in all DMC. The green is a DMC variation. I think I have, I might have the tag for that. I do. So it's stitched in this green. And this is uh, 40, 45. And it's, it's a very, it's, it's a little bit brighter green, but I kind of liked, I liked the little bit brighter color. And then I think I used a different red. I think the called for red is 498 and I used 321. Cause again, I just wanted to make it just a touch brighter and I, I love it. It's so cute. And I did stitch. So normally 36 count is a toss up fabric for me. Sometimes I'll stitch it one over two. Sometimes I'll stitch it two over two, depending on the weave of the fabric. This one is stitched two over two and I, I do like it. I think it looks actually really, really good. So I don't know if I'm going to stitch another one on this fabric though, because I don't know. It was a little bit of a pain. I think I need to tell my brain that no, 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 it's 32 count. Because for whatever reason, when I think it's 32 count fabric, I stitch it with no trouble. <laughs> so just have to convince my brain it's 32 count fabric. Okay, last one. And this is the final. I actually fully finished this one. So this is, again, it's from the same series. This is called the um, Christmas Barn. And look how cute. Isn't that cute? I love it. So this is on, this is on the, ooh, the 28 count Lugana that is dyed with coffee. That I, I, I dyed with coffee. And I stitched this, so the border and the barn are stitched in two different flosses that I hand dyed. And I wanted the barn to have a very weathered look to it. So I wanted that red to be kind of faded. Um, all of the rest of the colors are the called for DM seats. And so it was the same thing with the border. I wanted it to be a very faded, very light kind of green border. It's almost a blue and I just, I love it. And so I made it into a tiny pillow and then I used the same fabric that I used on the back. I cut it into, I think about a half an inch strip. Sorry, there's a hair there, but a half an inch uh, strip. I just you know, pulled it so it would fray. And then I attached it to make the ruffle. And if you want to know how to do this, Vana, the Twisted Stitcher, has an amazing tutorial for ruched ribbon with the beads. She puts beads on it. And that is the method that I used. And uh, it's definitely not perfect, but it's, I love it. I think it turned out so cute. And so what I'm doing with these is I actually made <laughs> Um, a little mini Christmas tree and I'll insert a picture here just because it's sitting over here and it's all like plugged in and so I didn't want to pull plugs and have stuff go flying but what I did is I took a bucket a little galvanized bucket that I got at Walmart and I put the floral foam inside and it fits in there really nice and tight so it's pretty much the same size and then I took I went to Dollar Tree and they have their little uh, mini trees and I took three of them because they're not super fluffy. So I got three of them and I took off everything from the bottom. So everything for the stand part, I took that all off. And then I wired, I took green floral wire and wired the bottoms together and then stuck it in the floral foam inside the bucket. And then I just took, we had strips of flannel and burlap left over from when we did some garlands a couple years ago. And so I just kind of stuffed that in there. And then I used a strand of Dollar Tree lights um, so it lights up and then I used a little bit of Dollar Tree garland. There's a little bit of, it's got like little red berries on it and I put that around it. And then I took bows from Walmart. They're like for the mini trees. I took their, I took the red bows from there. And then I also took the little mini, um, hold on. It's the little mini red truck. They've got a Buffalo check red truck in them, um, ornaments. And I put that on there and then these, as many as I can get to fit on there, are going to be turned into these little pillows and sit on the tree. So, so I'm super, I, I love them. I'm super happy with it. I think they're just so cute. Um, so now I got to get my butt in gear and get the rest of them finished. Okay, so that's all the stitching. That's what I've worked on. <laughs> it's not too bad. Um, it's just, it feels like it's a letdown for my last video because I had so many fully finished things. Um, 
So yeah, I just really need to get back on the fully finished train and get some more done. Okay, so tiny bit of haul. Um, I did get a few things um, that were on sale for Black Friday. Um, most of those were pre-orders or fabrics, so they're not going to be here for a little bit. So when they go in, I'll show you guys. Um, so what I have to share um, is monthly clubs. So this was the November blast of the month from Color and Cotton. I get the primitive and neutrals. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I love, I love Color and Cotton threads. They're just so pretty. And then I got my, this is my October um, fabric of the month. This is vintage. I get 40 count, they're 40 count even weave, which is Verdale, Verdal. Um, so that came out really nice. That'll be a good neutral. And then lastly, we did do a little bit of shopping locally. So I got some Christmas stuff done last week, which is awesome. But we went to what I call the fancy store. <laughs> um, it's kind of a quilting shop, gift shop, but they carry Cosmo threads. And I love Cosmo embroidery thread. So I picked up some colors. This is mainly colors so that I could do these guys. <laughs> so that's why I did do one whole one. Let me see, where was it? Yeah, I did this whole one in Cosmo Thread. So, um, I, I mean, I have a little bit of a collection already started, and then, like I said, I was able to pull some more in there. So, yeah. So, that's it. Wow, this is going to be a short video compared to all my other videos, which is good. <laughs> so, my phone didn't, like, overheat on me and overload. I did clean it out, though, so hopefully that won't happen. The problems I had last time won't happen again. Okay, so real quick, one more thing before I let you guys go for today. I just wanted to share real quick uh, the giveaway winners. Well, it was anyone that commented on my video where I did the giveaway um, that commented with the prompt got to pick a pattern. And it came to my attention. Someone had um, finally been able to get a hold of me. They had emailed me like right after I had announced the winners and everything and how that was going to work and they never heard back back from me I never got the email so I don't know what happened so if you were part of that um and I have messaged uh I've put a message or replied to the comment that you commented on that video um and I've also explained what happened too but if for some reason you have tried to email me and it hasn't gone through and you haven't heard from me I am not ignoring you number one I promise um, number two, just go ahead and try and contact me through Instagram. You can send me a message through Instagram and my Instagram is at crafting pause and hopefully, you know, hopefully that'll work. And I apologize. I don't know what the heck happened. My email just like, I don't know. I've never had that problem with Gmail, but for some reason it is like, yeah, it never, that email never came through. So I really, I apologize. I'm glad that that person was able to finally get through and was able to get their pattern. And like I said, I, I apologize if anyone else has had that issue. So again, if you've had that issue and you've emailed me about the giveaway and you know, I haven't responded, go ahead and send me a message through Instagram. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot one last thing. A very, very wonderful person, um, contacted me and sent me a few, um, some patterns and I wanted to share with you guys. I'm not going to share their name just because I didn't ask if I could. So I'm sorry. Um, but this person, you know who you are. I appreciate this beyond belief. And so I just picked a few to show you guys because I want to start, I, I want to start these because they're so cute. But isn't that adorable? This is Cricut Collection number 165. This is called Snow. I mean, it's Snowman. How adorable. I love it. And then this is um, the Cricut Collection number 79, Nicholas Vanderclaus. Oh, and I'm sorry if I showed the pattern. Isn't that cute? Oh, well, geez. The other one wasn't so bad. There we go. Isn't he adorable? I love the tree too. So cute. And then lastly, this is Sisters and Best Friends. This is Snow Happens. And it's a series of little ornaments. Aren't those adorable? You know I'm going to have to stitch that snowman, right? He's just too cute. They're all adorable. But yeah. So again, again, thank you so much. That was so kind of you to send me the patterns. I adore them all. Those are just the three that I picked out because I will hopefully be starting them sometime soon. I'm hoping. I'm really into the Christmas stitching right now, but my head is like in a million places. I literally want to stitch everything. 
that's like what happens. I want to stitch a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And yeah, but we'll see how much I get done. Okay. So before I just continue to ramble and keep you here with just a bunch of nonsense, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing upcoming month of December. Hope that you finish this out this week out fantastically. And I will see you guys again later. Bye everyone.